Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today we're going to be talking about some mafia romance books. Baby, baby. I really enjoy the mafia romance subgenre. I find it really entertaining and dark and just super fun and entertaining to read about. So let's dive on into these books. Uh, just FYI, I don't really support anything going on in these books. I just love their entertainment value. So let's get right on into these books. The first ever mafia book that I read was Sweet Temptation by Cora Riley. This book is actually a hit or miss for some people in the bookish community. They either love this book or they don't love this book, but I personally love this one. Um, if you aren't really into the brutality of the mafia and don't really want to know the details of the mafia or go all into it. This one is more of a surface level mafia book. It doesn't go deep into it. This is an age gap romance and our heroine here, um, he is older than the heroine and his wife recently died. He now has to find a new wife to help take care of his two children. One I believe is a couple month old or even week old baby girl and the other I think is a four or three year old little boy. His advisor is a part of his mafia world advise him to find a wife and the only woman who is available in the mafia world um, is this girl who is just about to turn 18. He has to marry her very reluctantly. He does not want to marry her. She doesn't really want to marry him. She doesn't know anything about kids or really the mafia in general. Um, she's forced into being his wife basically. But she slowly learns how much she loves these kids, how she can also love this man and how this man can love her. It's honestly really beautiful. I love this book. I know again not a lot of people do. We then have a trilogy following the same two characters. We have the mafia and his Angel part one, part two, and part three. These books are heavy with trigger warnings. Also for all these books, if you are like triggered by anything, please check out the trigger warnings. They are prevalent in this book specifically. Literally every single trigger that you can think of is in this book series, I swear. But in general for any mafia or dark romance book, if there's something that highly triggers you, please check out the trigger warnings beforehand. I rightly recommend it. This book is about Isla and um, she, I believe, is reluctantly engaged to a mob boss, a mafia man, and I believe she lives in his house even though they're not married yet. In simple terms, she is abused by this man daily. She, by coincidence, you read at the beginning of the book, she escapes his house and she sees an open car on the road um, or an open limo on the road when she is uh, trying to escape the house and so she just dives into it and then um, the car ends up driving away and it opens up and stops at this house and she still thinks these people are after her so she runs out of the car and into this house she has no idea who owns this house and she ends up hiding under a bed in a random room that she finds little does she know that the house that she went into is the mafia man like the head honcho of this mafia industry who is rivals with the man she just escaped his name is alessio and he is ruthless and just a downright killer in all honesty. Alessio ends up finding her under this bed and is thinking that it is a trap or a trick and that she's there to spy on him um, when in actuality she's not. <laughs> and throughout three, the three books you get to see them slowly fall for one another and start to trust one another and get over the pain and hardships both of them have gone through that have been very traumatic. There are graphic depictions of violence in this book so again beware. I really recommend the audio format for this book. It was really great. I think they're all on on Audible. I listened to them on Audible Escape when Audible Escape used to be a thing. We then have a book that might be stretching on the term mafia, but I think it's mafia. Um, we have Desperate Measures by Katie Robert. I don't think it explicitly says that it's a mafia book, but it's so, it like has the same feelings as like a mafia. I think like all these books in this series kind of have like a mafia-esque-ness to it. If you didn't know about the Wicked Villain series, this is a series that Katie Robert has written where she's kind of like reimagined Disney tales where in these books the uh, main character, hero or heroine, ends up getting with the bad guy of the Disney story. And so this first book is about Jafar and Jasmine. So Jasmine's father ran this mafia place, this mafia industry thing. And at the beginning of the book, he ends up dying. And I believe his right hand man, I believe Jafar was his right hand man. Anyway, um, he ends up getting control of the mafia after that. I believe it's a mafia. I don't really remember the term for it, but it's based, it's, it's like a mafia, okay? <laughs> he ends up basically having ownership of Jasmine. There's a lot of like, consensual non-consent in here. Um, so if you don't know what that means, that's basically like one of the characters or both of the both of the characters in the situation are into saying no, but actually meaning yes. Like they have a safe word and everything. Her safe word in here I think is Raja. And so like she says no to him all the time in those kinds of situations, but she actually means yes. And if she actually did not want 
what he is doing to her. She would say her safe word, if that makes sense. It's very mafia-esque. Again, I don't think it specifically says that it's mafia, but it's a good book. Please read it. It's really good. It get all the whole series gives me very mafia vibes. Okay, so in all honesty, those are three books that I have read. I've read that are mafia books that I enjoy. I've read many mafia books but uh, a lot of them have fallen flat for me. Those are three that I will recommend till the day I die. Good books, love those. Um, the other ones that I have read aren't necessarily good recommendations, so I'm not gonna be recommending them to you, but I wanted to tell you about a bunch of mafia books that are on my radar that I want to read that you can check out. First, we're gonna talk about some mafia books that I have found on Kindle Unlimited that have caught my eye. First, we have Light My Fire by Jessica Rubin. So it looks like our hero and heroine knew each other when our heroine was a little girl. And for some reason, he ends up saving her and her family from another country. It doesn't say specifically which country, but he ends up moving them to the United States. And I think it's a huge age gap because in the description, it says that while she's in elementary school, he is becoming the king of the underground mafia. So I believe it's an age gap here. She's in elementary school when she when he is becoming a mob boss she basically has heard nothing from this man for years until the start of this book i guess whenever uh he finally wants her in his life again and he won't take no for an answer we then have ruthless prince by faith summers this is a marriage contract romance i believe their families are forcing them to be married to one another M massimo is the hero in here and he is going to be the heir to the mafia empire and our heroine is forced to marry him under contract she belongs to him now and is owned by the devil who placed her in a gilded cage and i think they both start to fall for one another and then a bunch of dark secrets are revealed then i have sweet cruelty by zoe blake this just says that it is a uh, russian mafia book she is a student so it might be an age gap who knows and um, she is not a part of the mafia world at all. And so that, I guess, plays into the book. And he's saying how if he were a better man, he would have just let her go, but he now just wants to keep her more than anything. Then I have Corrupted Angel by Nicole Fox. So I believe that this man has wanted this woman. I assume that he's in the mafia, obviously this is a mafia book, but um, he's in the mafia and he really wants this woman named Alexis, but he can't have more than just one night with her. He can't tempt himself with more than that so he just has one night with her and leaves her behind then she shows up on his doorstep two years later and she brings along their baby so i guess this is a uh an accidental pregnancy book i know that's not a lot of people's favorite books to read i personally am not intrigued or disintrigued is that a word disintrigued not intrigued by it <laughs> um i I actually don't really care. It's not a, a trope that I dislike. Then I have Owned by the Bad Man. I've heard some uh, thoughts about this book on booktube specifically. I personally really love the cover. I just think it's stunning. Our heroine has been raised to be a ballerina, but then her parents have forced her to be in an arranged marriage. Um, she is forced in an arranged marriage with Maxim, who I believe is a mafia boss. And he does not want a wife, but he reluctantly agrees to this. He does not want to fall in love, but he he ends up falling in love anyway, obviously. That's a trope in many of these mafia books. Then some things in Maxim's past come back up and starts haunting him and then ruining the love that these two have formed together. Um, it does say there is a trigger warning for sexual assault in this book. Then I have A Dark Russian Angel by Odette Stone. This has been on my radar for a while. <laughs> so it looks like our heroine witnessed a crime and the police are not helping protect her at all. Her only chance of survival is to trust in Andrusha, I think that's how you pronounce that, who is the dangerous leader of the Vancouver Russian Mafia. They have a shared enemy, but he is ruthless, cold, and he likes to be in control. So he's basically protecting her in this situation, and I believe both of them have the same enemy. He's protecting her from his enemy as well. Then we have a very popular uh, mafia book here. We have Bound by Honor by Corelli. This is the Born in Blood Mafia Chronicles. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this series and the other series that Cora Riley has written. This book specifically is about um, Aria, who is 15 when her parents betroth her to Luca, the oldest son, a part of the New York Casa Nostra. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. 
not good at pronunciation. And it's to make peace between the two families. She then marries him when she turns 18. Luca is very much feared throughout New York society. And so she is terrified of marrying him. And I guess both of them end up falling for one another throughout all this. And um, she learns to love the terrifying man. We then have Mafia Prince by Vi Carter. This is about Jack who will one day rule over the Irish mafia. He claims he doesn't have time for distractions, much less any woman coming into his life, but then Maeve walks into his life. Maeve comes to him with a problem. She has this problem and he says that he will help her with it if she agrees to have or spend one night with him. I assume that this one night ends up then turning into something more. We then have the Baravta's Stolen Bride by Jagger Cole. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. Again, I'm not good at pronunciations. Our hero was a uh, taken in by the Bravta. The Bravta um, saved his life and made him into the man he is today. He then meets Zoe Stone, who is the spoiled little rich girl um, and has known nothing but happiness in her life until she meets the hero. But her father has promised her to another man to cement a business agreement. And there is no way our hero is letting that happen. He says that Zoe's been mine since the second I laid eyes on her and I'll do anything to keep what is mine, even if that means stealing her from her very own wedding. That sounded so good. A man coming to get you on your wedding wedding day, that gave me such Reese vibes. Reese coming to get Fira on the wood. Oh my gosh, that gave me such Reese and vibes. Then we have a very popular mafia book in the booktube world. We have the Sweetest Oblivion by Danielle Laurie. I've heard amazing things about this series. This is about Elena and she is considered the perfect mafia princess or she was. Her sister is in an arranged marriage with Nicholas Russo, um, who is a mafia boss. They both don't like each other, but then I believe um, they both start feeling this attraction to one another, even though he's supposed to be marrying her sister. So yeah, this is very much a forbidden romance. I've heard amazing things about this one, so I definitely want to dive into this one as soon as possible. Then I have A Ruthless Saint by S. Massery. So something that really intrigued me about this summary is this little sentence here. We say I do with his brother's blood on our clothes and the bars of my gilded cage slam closed. And then it goes on to say our wedding vows are forever till death do us part. But with enemies closing in from both sides, death might be closer than we think. That just really drew me in. That little sentence at the end of the summary, um, that sounded so good. I don't know anything about, else about this one. I assume it's mafia. Maybe both of their families are trying to get married a in a strategic way, who knows? But that sounded really intriguing to me. We then have El Diablo by M. Robinson. So this is about our hero who is a part of the mafia and he is protecting this woman. She then becomes his ultimate obsession. And he says, who is going to save her from me? The devil himself. Fate brought us together. Destiny will destroy us. That sounded really good. I received this book as a gift from M. Robinson, so I am very excited to dive into this one as well. I then have two Mafia romance books that are free for you to download. I have not read them yet, but they are free if you want to check them out. We have Vicious by Vi Carter. So our hero has always been crushing on Una, who spends the summer with his family every year but he can't risk her getting involved in his crime family. But now it's years later, she's all grown up and he doesn't think that he could stay away from her. He says that his family is belly deep in the criminal underworld and she's a distraction he can't afford. The closer she gets to him, the more he's spiraling out of control. He can't let her see who he really is, but he can't seem to let her go. The other free mafia book that I ended up finding is Dirty Dom by Willow Winters. This is about our hero who is a part of the mafia world. Um, and this woman named Becca one day walks into his office. She came to pay off a debt, but he wanted more. He did what he's always done before. He took what he wanted. So there you have it. Those are some mafia books that I love and re will recommend to you and some mafia books that are on my radar uh, that hopefully will spark your interest as well. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Thank you.